Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be for the sign of cancer. Before 20, I know I'm just going to acknowledge it in all the videos. See you now, wing smokers. Just step on to the side and let me have my moment, please. Thank you. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Okay, we're going to jump right in here and get some messages. Okay, so God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and precise messages for the sign of cancer. What messages do we have for cancer? Clear and precise messages for the sign of cancer. What messages do we have for cancer? What messages for the cancer people out there. What do we have? Okay. Seven of Wands, some guardedness, some defensiveness, some standing your groundness. Some standing your groundedness. I don't know, I'm trying to make up shit. When it comes to some type of connection, somebody looks like they're, oh, or a relationship. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be a Scorpio, but somebody's standing their ground. They're putting their foot down, enough is enough, and that's what that's about. Okay, so let's see what we got going on on the top here. Feeling betrayed. Feeling regretful. Feeling mentally conflicted. And then the Empress. So, okay. So, somebody could be... The Empress could be feeling regretful here. And finally, just putting these burdens down. Because, look, I'm not taking it no more. Enough is enough. I've had enough. I'm not doing it no more. Is what she's saying. Okay. Tell me about this Five of Swords here. Why is this here for Cancer? Yeah, she's like she regret some type of regret here. Yeah, I feel like she she's she's been she's like it's a lot. Her thoughts are keeping her trapped in her mind. She's just trying to stay true to herself and just work on that bag. Look like she's focusing on turning towards the money. Okay, she's focusing on some type of new ideas, some type of new beginning, something new to her. She's just trying to let something go. She's trying to move past something, whatever it was. Okay, tell me about this pile of new beginnings, <laughs> some new energy coming in here for this empress. Yeah, because she's been through a lot. She's being very guarded right now with the seven of wands, extremely guarded when it comes to finding a balance in anything. Oh, when it comes to try to balance stuff or reach out with old people, she feels like cycles are being completed and she's just trying to find the balance within her own life. Work on things that are important to her. Things that are get her where she feels like she needs to go. Tell me about this empress. I'm sorry. The empress. For cancer. Okay. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a king of pentacles here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I feel like the empress is feeling like she was dealing with this earth sign or whoever it was that she'd been trying to build, plant her seeds with. And it's just been causing her to be trapped in her mind. She's been trying to build something with this person, plant something, invest something large with this person. But it's just, been, it's just been resulting to her ending up trapped in her mind. So she's just like, you know what, let me reflect. Let me get away from this. And it could also be a cancer masculine or somebody that's dealing with another water sign. Reflecting and deciding to move away because it's time for this cycle to be closed out. Somebody could be dealing with a tourist. It's time to put those burdens down. It's time to let it go. Okay, I've done all I could. All I could. Eight of Swords. Yeah, she, yeah, see, she feels like this person that she's been dealing with just keeps her trapped in her mind and it brings in hurt. So she's gained a new perspective about this. Okay. The King of Wands. She's gained a new perspective about this. He's causing her hurt and being trapped, having her to be trapped in her mind because he needs to put, he, he needs to focus on this hurt of his own, take charge of this hurt of his own so that he can gain a new perspective. So she's feeling like at this time, she don't want to reconcile with this person. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. She's making choices, movements, and decisions to follow her intuition. And right now, it's not the best time to reconcile. So she's dropping it as a burden. High Priestess, why is this here? 
Yep, that's what her intuition is telling her. That even though it's love in the situation and she would like to have love with this person right now, it's too much of an illusion. It's too much toxicness. It's too much confusion. And it needs to be put down as a burden. So whether she wants to or not, I feel like she's going to be letting this person go. Somebody can be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like she's going to be letting this person go. I feel like she's just going to be, you know, putting her destiny in faith and just, you know, focusing on something new. Queen of Cups to Six of Cups, focusing on something new, putting her energy into work. She don't know what it's going to go, but she ain't trying to stress herself out. She's putting it down as a burden. Tell me about this Ten of Wands energy for Cancer. Yeah, because she's had endured enough hurt. She sees this. She gained a new perspective about it. And Knight of Swords, she's just trying to stay in alignment to, to what is true to her. Okay. Tell me about this Three of Swords. She's in and out energy. See, the emperor could be hurt too, but I feel like it's a woman hurt. Could be a masculine too. Somebody's hurt here, whether it's the emperor or the other. Okay, somebody's hurt because uh, the other person showed, put them as an option. You left me out in the cold and you chose somebody else. That broke my heart. And now I got a new perspective about this. Somebody don't want nobody that's in and out. They know what they want and this ain't it. They feel like the other person need healing and they're not willing to have nothing serious with them. Tell me about this two of swords. Too many. Get it in. Okay. Okay. So you got the king of pentacles now and the queen of pentacles. See, somebody's unhappy and they feel betrayed because the masculine... Or the feminine, somebody didn't chose somebody else. And I'm going to say the masculine. He chose somebody else. And that, that brings in some unhappiness to the situation. That brings in betrayal to the situation. Seven of swords. But the but it was shown. The secrets came out and surfaced. Ten of swords. See, but look, now that same person, I feel like this is the masculine energy now, receiving this tower, being single, having anxiety, trying to offer the love to the same person that he left out in the cold. Now he's trying to move forward to the, to the, to the union, trying to balance it out because now he put a painful ending on somebody else's happening to him. And the woman, she just like, I don't want to be bothered with it. Just let me get the fuck away from this. Let me get the fuck away from this whole thing. Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, so that's when the, the, the Empress decided she was unhappy with the destiny. And she made a decision to close it out. And she's done with it. She cut it out. And unbeknownst to her, whether she knows or she not, she does not know. This is her victory. Cutting him out is her victory. This is this is standing in your power. This is shining light on the situation. This is bringing the offer to you. Whether you want it or not. Knight of Swords, you can expect somebody to be rushing in here trying to offer you something solid. Somebody that you tried and tried and tried and tried with. And when you waited on them, they couldn't get it together. But now that you finally want to be done with them and walk away from them, they're trying to come in here and give you everything that you want. They're trying to come in here and take charge of the situation. They're trying to come in here and be honest and do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, why? Because they see you as wish fulfillment. They don't want to, they want to put the work in with you. Work, you know, they want us to work together on getting in the common waters. They don't, it's a wish fulfillment. They don't want you to go in the common waters by yourself because that did come up for you. Somebody's rushing, trying to chase you down because they done mistreated you. They done made the wrong decision. Maybe put you in a third party situation, but now they realize what they got when it's gone. And sometimes it's too late. Six of swords. Yep, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to try to offer you something that you can't resist. Look, and look how that Ace of Pentacles got roots, baby. They trying to plant roots with you. Why? Because a tower moment didn't hit their ass. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. And now they got anxiety. Now the Nine of Pentacles reverse. 
They don't want you single. Me, you single and good on your own. No. I want us to have a future. Not you be good on your own without me. No, baby. That's not what I want. So, but it's going to be up to you to take them back, whether you're the masculine or the feminine energy. It's up to you. So, at the end of the day, follow your intuition. Do what makes you happy. Today's 420. I suggest that you get real high. Okay? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And see you in your next video. Be blessed and have a nice day.